What's happening, guys? So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about West Ham are encouraging Arsenal to make a third offer for Declan Rice to end the saga with Manchester City yet to launch a formal bid for the Hammer Star. So, just reading that headline as it is, it makes it sound like West Ham is saying, Come on, Arsenal, I want to sell Declan Rice to you, mate. Man City are coming calling, mate. And I don't know how long I can hold them off for. That's what it sounds like to me. Uh, no. But, you know, I digress. Arsenal have been encouraged to make a third bid for West Ham's Rice. Gunnar saw their latest bid rejected by the Irons as it didn't reach 100 million. Don't know why we thought that we could bid less and, uh, you know, it's still land the player. I mean, he's just stupid. Uh, Gunners have been heavily linked with the move for the England International and have already seen two bids. Pressure is on Nico Arteta's side as Manchester City in the race for Rice and could hijack the move despite not yet making an official bid. Um, well, uh, apparently, Declan Rice is basically going by how what things I've seen on so social media. It seems like Declan Rice has been like, nah, fam. Uh, man, say, I'm flattered that you're coming from me, but it's Arsenal what I want. That's, that's, that's the vibes in the game. <clears throat> Talk Sport report that the Irons are now encouraging Arsenal to submit a third bid for Rice to bring a speedy end to the saga. Why don't you just sell us Rice then if you wanna if you wanna end it that bad, West Ham? Why don't you just do that? <laughs> <laughs> the report continues to state that Pep Guardiola's side have also held talks with West Ham but are yet to make a formal offer after being told Rice prefers a move to Arsenal. <laughs> so Man City have been told, look, fam, I know you want me, but I prefer to go to Arsenal. <laughs> like, how does that feel? Any City fans that may come across this video, how does it feel knowing that Despite that you, man, like, were chilling second in the league all season until the end and then you won the treble, right? Uh, uh, How does it feel to know that the in England international just turned around and said, Bam, I'd rather join Arsenal, you know, the bottle drops. Uh, you know what I mean? Weird, isn't it? Because you, man, have got Walker, Stones, Foden, uh, Grealish, who else is it? Who else is England English international? Those are the only four I can think of up right now. But you've got more than that. But you you've got all them man there. You know what I mean, and, and them man couldn't couldn't make the pull and say to Rice, look, fam, we've won the treble. You could win more right here. You know what I mean, you could follow up what you did at West Ham and go even further here. And West and 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 Rice is turning around saying, "I'd still rather join Arsenal." That is that is summer. <laughs> if all that's one hundred percent true, that is summer. The Hammers are keen to end Saga as Mikata to push us for the England international. You're not pushing hard enough, are you? You're not pushing hard enough. You see, you these man Arsenal, right? These man were so quick to push for Central C wannabe, aka Kai Havertz. <laughs> You know what I mean? Kai Havertz was so important to get into this team, wasn't it? You know what I mean? So important. Yet, when it comes to Declan Rice, you man are stalling. You man are someone else, you know. This comes after it was reported that West Ham believed Arsenal's new offers was imminent. As Man City put pressure on the Gunners. So, yeah. You'd think now that we'd step up our game because Man City uh, are in. If this doesn't if this doesn't come to an end anytime soon, don't be surprised to see Arsenal end interest in Rice. Don't be surprised. But the Hammers are yet to receive an improvement on the latest bid worth 90 million that was rejected by West Ham. It remains to be seen as whether City will make their first move for the midfielder with Guardiola, a huge fan of Rice. Matteo Kovacic is set to complete his move to the Etihad after undergoing medical on Friday. Ilkay Gundogan's departure could play into a potential move for Rice, while Calvin Phillips has reported interest from Bayern Munich this summer. Bit of a weird one. With West Ham keen to end Saga once and for all, movement is expected on Rice from. So let me just let me just say a little sub, little two two bit of something about this, right? As I said, do not be surprised if if you see headlines. Arsenal end interest in Rice, right? 
the reason why I won't put it past that is because I won't put it past Arsenal signing someone who's a midfielder cheaper than Rice, other than signing what's his name, Central Seed wannabe. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't, don't be surprised if Arsenal sign another midfielder and then they'll be like, ah, maybe we don't need Rice. And then you'll see the headlines, Arsenal end interest in Rice. You know what I mean? We put bids in for Caicedo in January. What happened there? You know what I mean? So, we, we know a pattern now, don't we? Because we had bids for Douglas Louise last summer, rejected, in the last minute. Didn't go back in for him. So, we know what the pattern is now. So, if we bid for a player, in whichever transfer window, and we don't get them, we ain't going back in for them. We know that. You know what I mean? Did it, we did, we did it, we did it twice in succession now. Went for Douglas Louise, didn't go back in for him. So why did we put the bid in in the first place then? Went for Kaiseido, bids rejected, didn't go back in for him. Ended interest. Imagine, imagine getting Kaiseido and Rice. Knew I'm gonna get both. It's too good. It was too good to be true. It was too good to be true. I have a good mind to pull up my video where I said we ain't getting both, but I don't need to. I don't need to do that. I don't need to bring no videos back because you, you man that have been following me for a while now on YouTube, <laughs> you know what I've been saying. You know what I mean? And we we know this football club very well. We know we ain't about that way. You know what I mean? Getting two quality players like that, no, fam. There's only one quality player allowed in the, in, the, in a transfer window like that. God, no. You know what I mean? So, if and when we don't get rice, as I said in my last video, boycott. In all fairness, there should be some, some form of a boycott anyway. You know what I mean? Demand more. You know what I mean? The club, the fans as, as a whole, demand more. Because this, this, it can't keep going on like this. It just can't keep going on like this. You know what I mean? But, let me know what you guys think about this anyway. Comment, like, share, subscribe, follow all the socials. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.